Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. For today's topic, we're going to talk about law of exponents. Yes, you've heard it right. Exponents have laws. So what are the laws of the exponents? Law number one. A raised to the power of m times a raised to the power of n is just equal to a raised to the power of m plus n, where a is a real number and m and n are positive integers so based on the definition if you have number with the same base but different exponents you can just copy the base and then add the exponents so for example the equation 3 raised to the power of 2 times 3 raised to the power of 3 is equal to 3 raised to the power of 2 plus 3 then the equation will become 3 raised to the power of 5. So it means that 3 will be multiplied 5 times. And it will give us a result of 243. Another example. Find the area of the rectangular playground with a length of 4 raised to the power of 3 meters. And width of 4 raised to the power of 2 meters. To find the area of a rectangle, we need to multiply the length times the width. As we can see, the length and the width of the rectangle playground are in exponent form. Now have you noticed something common here? Yes, you got it right. The base is common and that is 4. So by using the law number 1, we just need to copy the common base and then add the exponents. Therefore, the equation will become 4 raised to the power of 5, which means the 4 will be multiplied 5 times so the area of the rectangle is 1024 square meter now let's proceed to law number 2 a raised to the power of m raised to the power of n is just equal to a raised to the power of m times n where a is a real number and m and n are positive integers now let's have an example to further understand this law so if you have 4 raised to the power of 2 raised to the power of 3 it will become 4 raised to the power of 2 times 3 therefore the equation will become 4 raised to the power of 6 which is equal to 4096 now for another example Mike bought two raised to the power of two raised to the power of three apples in the market how many apples did mike bought so the equation two raised to the power of two raised to the power of three is equal to two raised to the power of two times three then the equation will become two raised to the power of six which is equal to 64 therefore mike bought 64 apples so that's law number two now let's proceed to law number three Law number 3 is a raised to the power of n times b raised to the power of n is just equal to a times b raised to the power of n where a and b are real numbers and n is a positive integer. This law means that if you have different base but the exponents are identical then you can just multiply the base and then copy the exponent. We'll look at this example to further understand this law. 2 raised to the power of 2 multiplied by 3 raised to the power of 2 is just equal to 2 times 3 raised to the power of 2. Therefore, the equation will become 6 raised to the power of 2, which means that 6 will be multiplied 2 times. So the answer is 36. Now let's take this another example. Ayla went to the bakery to buy some cupcakes. Ayla bought 4 raised to the power of 2 times 3 raised to the power of 2 cupcakes. Now how many cupcakes did Ayla bought? The problem is quite complicated, right? But if you know the loss of exponents, you can easily answer this problem. So now let's apply the law number 3 to this problem. The equation has different base but the same exponent. Therefore, using law number 3, we can just multiply the base and then copy the exponent. So the equation will become 12 raised to the power of 2, which is equal to 144. Therefore, Ayla bought 144 cupcakes. 
it's easy right now let's proceed to the law number four law number four the fraction a over b raised to the power of n is just equal to a raised to the power of n divided by b raised to the power of n where a and b are real numbers and n is a positive integer this law means that the exponent can be distributed to the numerator and denominator so for this example 2 third raised to the power of 2 will become 2 raised to the power of 2 divided by 3 raised to the power of 2 therefore the answer is 4 over 9 another example Ayuni bought a pizza she only eats one half raised to the power of 3 slice of pizza how many slices of pizza did Ayuni eat? now let's apply the law number 4 here in the problem so basically one half raised to the power of 3 will become 1 raised to the power of 3 divided by 2 raised to the power of 3 therefore the equation will become 1 over 8 so Ayuni only ate 1 8 of the pizza so that's the law number 4 let's proceed to the last law law number 5 a raised to the power of n divided by a raised to the power of m is just equal to a raised to the power of n minus m where a is a real number and not equal to 0 and n and m are positive integers this law means that if the numerator and denominator is the same but they have different exponents then you can just copy the base and then subtract the exponent of the numerator to the exponent of the denominator let's have an example 2 raised to the power of 3 divided by 2 raised to the power of 2 is just equal to 2 raised to the power of 3 minus 2 so the answer is 2 now for another example K is playing Amazing Race and one of the mission there is to go to the 3 raised to the power of 5 over 3 raised to the power of 3 floor on a building now which floor does K needs to go let's apply the law number 5 in this problem since the numerator and the denominator have the same base we just need to copy the base and then subtract the exponent of the numerator to the exponent of the denominator so the equation will become 3 raised to the power of 5 minus 3 which is equal to 3 raised to the power of 2 so it means that 3 should be multiplied 2 times therefore the answer is 9 so k should go to the ninth floor of the building so that's the five laws of exponents that's it guys i hope you learned a lot about the laws of exponent once again this is easy engineering we make engineering topics easy and fun for you